Hi Psychic Truth fam, my name is Sina and welcome to this 15 part yoga series focused on tension release. So when you're ready, just grab your water bottle, roll out your mat and let's get started. If you're not in a place where you can do this video with me right now, please save it to your watch later and join me whenever you can. Welcome. So before we get started, I want to let you know I'm wearing this custom made outfit. If you like it, please make sure to click on the shelf below so you can find any additional details for it. So let's get started by lying down on your mat. Bringing in your knees towards your chest and just giving yourself a big, big hug. Today's class is going to be focused on your low back. So we're going to be really reducing any pain, tension, or tightness that you have in your low back. Let's start by taking a deep breath in through your nose. Sigh it out. <sighs> nice work. Deep breath in through your nose. Sigh it out. <sighs> Excellent job. One more time. Deep breath in through your nose. Sigh it out. Excellent job. Keeping your eyes closed, tuning into your hug. Set the intention to be present today. Throughout the class, there might be times where you might go to think on your to-do list or get distracted by external noises or sights. Whatever it is, know that you always have an opportunity to come back to your breath and that your breath will always link you to the present moment. So let's start by practicing just tuning into your breath, being fully present through your inhale, fully present out through your exhale. Take three more breaths here at your own pace. Wonderful, wonderful job. Slowly release your arms, release your legs, and open your legs wide into a butterfly position. So you might start noticing that there's a space between your lower back and the mat. Go ahead and move your forearm and place it under your low back to remove that space so that you have support. Allow your low back to melt into your forearm right here and just tune into your breath. Noticing the support your forearm is offering to your low back. Noticing the tension and this releasing by simply placing it on that space below. One more breath here in through your nose and out through your mouth. Slowly removing that forearm from below, bringing your hands just in a bent position on your mat. A lot of the times, you start feeling tension on your low back because of this slight curvature of the low spine. This can cause a lot of pain and stress on that spine. So by simply removing that curvature, we help it heal. And that's what we're going to be focus on, focusing on in today's class. So let's start with slow pelvis tucks so you can release that pain. So come to just your natural stance right here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And on that exhale, just tuck your pelvis, reducing that space from your low back and the mat. Nice work. Inhale, release back to neutral. Exhale, tucking the pelvis. Excellent job. Inhale, releasing. Exhale, tucking in the pelvis. Continue moving and breathing, releasing and tucking. And start observing how protecting your low spine not only starts with simply tucking in the pelvis, but also plugging in that belly button towards your spine. So the core here works with 
the spine to protect it. Keep moving, keep breathing, and start plugging in that belly button towards your spine more firmly. I'm going to say that again. And start plugging in that belly button towards your spine more firm. Excellent job. Wonderful. Slowly bring your knees in towards your chest. Go ahead and grab a hold of your shins and just start massaging your spine by moving side to side. Excellent job. Now slowly rolling yourself all the way up for a three. Two, one, excellent job. Go ahead and come directly into a tabletop position. So hands and knees on your mat. Take a deep breath in through your nose and on that exhale, reduce that curve in your low spine. Inhale once more. Exhale, send your hips high to the sky, coming into your first downward facing dog. Excellent job right here. So start by finding some stillness, sending your heels down into your mat, pressing that chest into your thighs as much as possible and just breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Excellent job right here. Tuning into your breath, tuning into that very present moment. One more breath here in through your nose, out through your mouth. Excellent job. Finding this downward dog stillness right here. Slowly, just start bending your knees and pressing in your chest towards your knees. Hold. Exhale, lengthen those knees back out. Wonderful job. Keep bending and stretching. Bending and stretching. So start observing your neck. Is it tight? If it is, release it with your exhale. Wonderful job. One more right here. Slowly find stillness in through your nose and out through your mouth. Wonderful job. Inhale, bend your right knee in towards your chest. Place it in between your hands and slowly scoop your arms high to the sky, coming into your first crescent lunge. Start by squaring your hips forward, squaring your chest and your shoulders, and gazing up towards your hands. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Wonderful job. Slowly drop to your knee, press your left hand besides your right foot, and then twist your spine up towards the sky coming in for a spinal twist. We're gonna be doing a lot of spinal twists in today's class because spinal twists are an excellent tool to release that lower back. So take a deep breath in as you reach higher and on your exhale, twist a little bit further. Can you send both shoulders high to the sky? One more breath right here. Excellent job. Slowly place both of your hands, hands on the mat to frame your right foot, and then bring your left to meet your right. Using your peace fingers, hook them under your big toes. Open your feet a little bit wider apart than hip distance. Inhale as you open your chest, pushing it through that wall in front of you. Exhale, forward fold. If this is too much for you and you want to feel it, feel a deeper stretch in your low back, option to bend your knees and really curve that spine. If not, you can always stretch those knees and find a hamstring stretch here as well. Keep moving, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Nice work here, one more breath. Excellent job. Slowly walking your hands to the width of your mat. 
opening your feet wide and then bending your knees coming into a malasana squat hold right here deep breath in through your nose deep breath out through your mouth excellent work here one more breath wonderful drop walk your hands to the opposite side of your mat to frame your left foot coming into a crescent sending both of your arms high to the sky and hold breathing in through your nose as you reach your arms past that ceiling out through your mouth as you settle into this moment coming back to your breath coming back to this present moment squaring your hips and your shoulders and then slowly bringing your right hand besides your left foot twisting through your spine inhale as you lengthen exhale as you twist nice work inhale as you lengthen exhale as you twist releasing that lower back with that twist sending both shoulders high towards the ceiling slowly bringing in your left hand down towards your mat squaring that left foot and bringing in your right foot to meet your left. Peace fingers wrap around your big toes. Opening through that chest for an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Nice work. Stay here for three deep breaths. Can you push your chest lower and closer towards your legs? Wonderful job, slowly walking your hands to that width of your mat, coming into your malasana squat, hands pressing against your knees and just breathing. You're doing so good. One more breath. Excellent work, framing that right foot and then stepping into that downward dog. Wonderful drop right here. We're gonna repeat that same sequence once more at a faster pace, you know the drill. Coming into that downward facing dog, bend your knees and straighten them for three, two, last one. Bending your right knee in towards your chest placing it below, coming into crescent. Breathe in, breathe out. Coming into a twisted crescent, option to lift your back knee or you can bend it down. We're focusing on that spine. Wonderful job, sweep that arm. Left foot meets right. Peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, forward fold. <sighs> Wonderful job. Slowly coming to a malasana squat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wonderful work here. Framing that left foot. Coming into crescent squaring hips and shoulders. Coming into twisted crescent. Can you twist a little bit more? Wonderful job. Forward fold. Peace fingers around big toes. Opening your feet a little bit wider. Option to bend the knees here as much as you need. Slowly coming to the width of your mat into Malasana squat. Nice work here. And stepping into that downward facing dog. Coming back to your breath 
coming back to that slow inhale and an even slower exhale. Wonderful job. You're slowly coming into your knees and then making your way into a crisscross applesauce position. Hands are going to come over your knees. Deep breath in as you open your chest. Deep breath out as you pull away from those knees. Continue moving and breathing. This is our seated cat cow variation. So inhale, coming into that cow. Exhale, back into that cat. Really arching through that spine forward and then really arching through that low spine when you arch backwards. If you find a position that's really working for you in this cat cow, stay there for a breath longer. This is about tension release. So gift yourself the opportunity to do so in this present moment. Nice work. Excellent job. Coming back into neutral. Let's open our knees wide, feet close together into this butterfly pose. Just start really moving in those wings, those knees. And then when you're ready, just come into a forward fold, walking your hands forward. So this is not, the focus here is not on the hips. It's more on that lower back. So I want for you to focus on just walking your hands further away. And then just breathing, finding stillness in the moment. Tuning into this present moment. Maybe walking your hands forward with your fingers slowly. And when you're ready, slowly coming back up. Nice work. Come to support on your hands behind you. Just bending your knees and just windshield wiping those legs from side to side. Releasing that spine. Wonderful job. Just observing your body and your low back. How is it feeling? And when you're ready, slowly come to a lay down on your mat. Your knees are still bent. And just walk your feet closer to your fingertips so they can feel it right behind your ankle. Placing your palms firmly on your mat, take a deep breath in through your nose, pelvis tuck. So really removing that space from your low back and that mat. And on your exhale, send your hips high to the sky, coming into bridge pose. Hold right here for 15 seconds. Can you send those hips higher up towards the sky for seven, and slowly dropping back down. Nice work here. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Gift yourself a tight, tight tug. And just taking three deep breaths here in through your nose out through your mouth coming into that present moment coming back to your breath focusing on the here and the now slowly bring your chest in towards your knees and your knees towards your chest for a big hug knowing that by holding space for ourselves we're able to hold space for others and slowly open your legs wide, open your arms wide, closing your eyes. Shavasana, final resting pose.
option to stay here for as long as you would like. But if you're with me, start by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And then coming to lay down on that side of your mat. Using your left arm for support as a pillow. And then slowly coming into a seated position. Inhale, send your arms high to the sky. Exhale, walk them forward as we bow down to this moment. As we bow down with gratitude to your body. To your breath. And together we say, Namaste. Slowly walking your hands all the way up, bringing them to your heart center and opening your eyes. Thank you for moving with me. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for moving with me. Please download our Yoga Plus app for further movement classes. If this class served you in any way, please follow me on my Instagram account at Sina Karime for further movement and mindfulness content. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.